Man, that is quiet. That is amazing. <laughs> that is awesome. Hey guys, today we have a first for you. This is an integrally suppressed 44 mag lever action rifle. And I've got to say, this thing is a ton of fun to shoot. I, uh, I feel very honored to be one of the first ones to get hands on this. And this is amazing. David at Wren Metalworks sent this out. And guys, this is a ton of fun to shoot. When you're running subs through this, behind the gun, you basically hear nothing as you saw in the beginning. The steel is easily 10 times louder than the report on this rifle. And there's a little bit of front weight to it, helps mitigate the recoil from the 400 grain rounds, but it's, uh, it's awesome. It's a lot of fun. I can see this being a very handy hog gun, beaver hunting, anything like that. Uh, it's just, I can't say it enough, it's awesome. It's totally unique. It's integrally suppressed. It is serviceable through taking the tube off. You have a pinned and welded suppressor on the barrel. So it's a short barrel rifle, but you're not having to pay for that extra tax stamp because it is pinned and welded. And that way you're only paying one round of the ridiculous ATF fees. A nice thing about this is you can supply the host rifle if you want to convert one of your own, or if you want something totally new, you can have Wren Metalworks do a complete package for you and sky's the limit on what you can have done to it. They do a single color Cerakote, or you can have a really custom Cerakote. I'll show you on a bolt gun here in just a second. That's awesome. Uh, comes with a Ranger Point butt stock, and then optic of your choice, of course. And then on the non-top eject models, I'll roll in some video here. He also has a rail that will go on top so you can put a full length optic on here instead of a forward mounted red dot, which for something like this, I think the forward mounted red dot is awesome because it's very quick acquisition. And for up close and personal hog hunting or beaver, something like that, this is all you need really. I mean, this is very light and handy for what it is. And when you start throwing a low power variable or something like that on top, you lose that handiness because you're throwing off the balance of the rifle. And I think this works out really well. I, I just think it's an excellent design and David has done something very unique here. I think this is gonna be, uh, this is gonna be something a lot of you guys are gonna want for sure. And it's just, fun. I can't say it enough. I got to shoot it some more. <laughs> if you pay much attention to lever guns, you notice this is a bit different on here. The screws on this are Torx. That's something that might be coming down the line. And for anybody like me that tears a gun apart on a regular basis, this is a lifesaver and a game changer. It's what I loved about Remington at the end of what they were doing with the lever guns. They switch, started switching things over to Torx drive and it makes it so much easier. You're less prone to breaking the heads. You're less prone to slipping out and marring your finish. And especially when you spend three or $4,000 on a rifle, the last thing you want to do is slip out of that groove and put a nice long scratch across the receiver. With this, you don't have to worry about that. So definitely keep your eyes out for that guys. So people have done integrally suppressed bolt guns, but not like this. Wren Metalworks is making this chassis. You've got a double folder, folds over to the side. It does not lock in the folder position, but it is a very solid lockup when it's, clo when it's uh, folded closed. The carbon cheek rest is made by them. The magazine is made by IQ Munitions out of Montana, and this is a billet aluminum magazine. Amazing quality, guys. You know, people brag on the durability of their magazines. They ain't got squat on this thing. That is a tank. This gun is amazing. It's very futuristic. And I got to say, I love the chassis. One thing that really surprised me when I got it in hand and started to shoot, I have, I've, I'll be honest, I have never, ever liked the Magpul AFG. I always thought it was garbage because it was on an AR and it didn't fit the feel of the rifle to me. It felt like it was too big and bulky and clunky on there. However, because we have an integrally suppressed rifle that has a very large suppressor tube and a larger than standard forend on the rifle, when you throw this AFG on here, it allows my thumb to wrap around the side and it feels comfortable. It actually fits. On this rifle, it makes sense. I think it's a very good fit for it. The only thing I could see adding is possibly something like a speed ramp on the side to rest my thumb on. And I think this would be, this is a great little gun as well for hunting, you know, anything you want to hunt within reason. It's based on a Ruger 7744 action. That's one of the few things on here that's not made by Wren Metalworks, but it's, uh, 
it's an awesome little gun. I think it's very cool. And the fact that when you fold it, you have a nice compact package coming out to 16 and a quarter. And that is awesome. That'll fit in a backpack very easily to go hunting, truck gun, whatever you want to do. And I got to say, I love the Cerakote. I think it looks awesome. It's kind of a distressed copper and it just gives me a very post-apocalyptic feel. The quivers are also made by Ren Metalworks and the ammunition is through IQ Munitions who also makes this magazine as mentioned earlier. Guys, this is a very, very finely crafted firearm and something anybody would be proud to have in their collection for sure. I mean, this thing is just awesome. Let's shoot it a little more. Okay guys, I wanna show you real quick just a couple other guns he brought out. And this one is the Henry H006G. This is a beautiful brass rifle. This is one he's working on for a client right now. He's gonna be doing a custom walnut stock. Uh, we're gonna have a wood foregrip coming up here. And the, I mean, guys, these truly are works of art. Like I said, on the ones that are not top eject, he has a nice rail you can put on here so you can run low power variable or whatever optic you wanna run. If you wanna run a thermal, you can do that and do some great night hog hunting. And it's just, as you guys heard, this is crazy quiet. I mean, we actually, uh, if you heard a car in the video earlier, that's a buddy of ours is out here at the Clinton house doing some testing for a match. And he said, I'm down here shooting. And every now and then I hear this ting, ting, ting. He thought somebody's up here working and beating on metal with a hammer. He never heard a single shot come out of the rifle. And when he drove by, he's like, wait a minute, what is that? So it's a testament to how quiet these guns really are. It's just. It blew my mind how it's like a pellet gun going off, but way more power. Just thought you'd want to show you this one, and then I got another one I'm going to show you guys real quick. So, guys, here's another one he's working on. This is the Henry X44. It's got a tungsten finish with uh, it's like Ranger Point's moss green. Again, we've got the rail up top since it's a side eject. Gives you a lot more versatility on here, and this thing is awesome. I really like the quivers he has on here. It's got a nice, sleek look to it, and good contour. Easy to draw the rounds out back at an angle and he's just done a phenomenal job. I really like the accent on the end with the green cap that matches with the, uh, the hand grip and the butt stock and the lever. It's the little details that make a difference, guys, and he has done a phenomenal job covering all those little details, dotting his I's, crossing his T's. These are amazing products. Definitely, if you're in the market for a suppressed lever gun or bolt gun, definitely check him out. It's Ren Metalworks. I'll have him linked in the description below, and I'll link him on Instagram as well. Guys, you can't beat what he's offering here. These things have run flawlessly. They're smooth and just, it's something different. You know, if you're tired of the same old, same old, definitely look at these. This is something that will be a head turner everywhere you go. Thanks for watching. Have a good one, guys.